All right, we are back. So we have discussed um, most of the WWE events for the wrestling week, as well as uh, some of the other events. We talked a little bit about uh, the something to wrestle, WrestleCon, the Ring of Honor Supercard, uh, Impact. Uh, and so forth, but we have left one out specifically because this one is very near and dear to our heart. We are talking about Wildcat. So uh, to start off the week uh, for us is Wildcat. Wildcat's doing a show at WrestleCon on Thursday night, Mm -hmm. and uh, in our opinion, they have one of the stronger cards uh, out there from the independent scene in my honest opinion you know that besides our you know our friends and uh, you know the the wildcat guys that we watch month in and month out and week in and week out on the show uh, you have a lot of traveling talent you know that's coming in that it's like Wow, I'd really like to see this guy. So, uh, to start it off, you have Buku Dao and Sexy Chino versus Ryan Davidson and Shane Taylor. Um, so, yes? Oh. I'm putting my hands in the sky. Yeah. Buku Dao would die, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I don't care how big the competition is. I don't know. I mean, Shane Taylor, uh, I'm pretty sure that he is signed to Ring of Honor. Am I correct? I don't know. He's going to be at Wildcat that night. That's what matters. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing Shane Taylor. Don't get me wrong. Reject Ryan Davidson, that's a different story. But Shane Taylor, I'm excited to see. (laughs) Um, Buku. Uh, is one of the local Wildcat guys. Um, Sexy Chino, I'm not really sure who that is. Um, I didn't recognize him from, like, a past show or anything like that. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Sexy Chino. Oh, yeah, we've we've seen him. So, Uh, bell time for this event is 6 p.m. Yeah, it's, like, right as work gets out. That's cool. So, yeah, it's a... and I assume that they're going to be going for a couple hours because, I mean, we've been to numerous Wildcat shows now, and each one typically is like a three, three-and-a-half-hour show. Right. Right. Well, there is another show at the Sugar Mill after Wildcat, so I don't think it's going to drag on for at all. You know, once it's over, you know, it's going to be over. I think the next show starts at... 9.30 or something wow, like that. Wow, what, um, what show is that? Do you know? Or I'm not off the top of my head. But, I'd it's, have just, to, but it's like another promotion that they're yeah. doing. Right, okay. w- right, correct. It's, it's a different company's event. Um, so with this one, Dave, I'm going to have to go the other way. I think that Shane Taylor and Ryan Davidson's going to win this one just because that's a big boy to beat. Oh, Shane Taylor. You've been yeah. wrong all night. You can, <laughs> it, you can keep up that streak. <coughs> I'm um, perfectly okay with that. So what's your thoughts? I'm, I'm going to have to go with Pickle on this. Sorry, Dave. Ryan Davidson, Shane Taylor are my pick. Yeah. Um, let's see. Next match, Shane Hurricane Helms uh, and Edron Stone. From, uh, versus the Pump Patrol. So Edrin uh, previously was a member of the Handouts. Um, I'm not sure what happened to his partner. But, uh, you know, and for him to pick up Shane Helms, that's, uh, that's a big deal. Yeah. Um, but I love me some Pump Patrol. Well, I'll say this. <laughs> Stand back. There's a hurricane coming through, and it's called Pump Patrol. Oh! Pump Patrol will be beating Shane Helms and Edrin Stone. (laughs) Boom! 
Boom. <laughs> oh, I also man. saw that uh, Pump Patrol is going to have a better. new shirt. Oh, for cool. uh, the WrestleCon event. That's so. great. I did see that. that, yeah, that I have mine uh, t-shirt. Uh, put on the side already for me. Pre, uh, Look at you. There you uh, go. Not pre-ordered, but I guess pre, uh, pre-requested. pre The pickle or, special. Yeah. Well, guaranteed that, hey, I can get a shirt in my size. Yes. <laughs> put it down for me. There you go. I wanted to make sure because I know a lot of times – uh, they'll only get like a handful of shirts in big boy size like mine. And then by the time that I get a, to walk to the uh, the merch booth, mm-hmm. they're already sold out. Where yeah. it's like, oh, all we got is 1X. <laughs> right. Um, so let's see. Um, yeah, Pump Patrol, Pump Patrol, Pump Patrol. Right, correct? yeah, definitely. I so, that's what I'm going with. Uh, Caleb, I'm, I am. I will say that I am really excited to see Sh- uh, Hurricane Helms again. It's good to be good to see him part of Wildcat again. It was good to see him last time he was at the show. Did he put? A, I had to miss that show. How was he with the crowd? Like, was everybody kind of? Oh, abso- absolutely, and and especially even during the intermission, like uh, there was. People lining up waiting to say hi to him, and he just, he seems like a, like a nice guy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. He, he has that very approachable. Right. Yeah, approachable. That's the word. Uh, uh, well, he was at, around. He was at WrestleCon last time, and mm. uh, I got to chat with him for a little bit, and uh, yeah, he was a cool dude. Like he didn't seem like he was just like, give me some money and right. then get out of my way, kid. Right. You know, yeah. like. He actually was like, oh, I appreciate you being a fan, man. You yeah. Because like, I was actually wearing the Green Lantern shirt oh, that's when cool. I went. So he was like, dude, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, so the next match here, Caleb Conley versus Mike Dell versus uh, Barrett Brown. So Mike Dell is the. Uh, he's like the he's, grizzled vet. He's yeah. the one man. <laughs> Mike Dell, I'm just that simple. I yeah. don't see him losing this match. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That I don't see uh, Mike Dell going down on this match. No, 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 not whatsoever. We're gonna see a lot of Dell bows coming down. Yeah. All right, I'm with you guys. Let's go with the veteran Dell. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's been too hot, and I think I saw. Uh, I can't remember what event it was, but uh, it looked like he won a belt last night. Mm. I don't remember what title that was, but did he? Yeah, I, I, I was. I, I saw that on that. Hell yeah! That social site last night. Oh, that was probably the. Uh, they were all. I think that a bunch of them were in Maryland this weekend. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, what, well, MCW? yeah. I think this was something in Texas, though. I don't know. I I, I follow so many of them different <laughs> yeah it, it, it it's hard to yeah before remember the show we would mention such. how many different buku ka, uh puku do, uh, buku dao oh. groups are you following at this point i i, I like three or four buku <laughs> dao is the best <laughs> i mean you, you you can't be ku, buku he's the best <laughs> let's see <laughs> so this next match danny Versus Matt Lancey. Ooh, I think this is a mistake for Danny. I think I, I hate to say it, but I think this is a mistake for Danny to accept this match n- and fight Matt Lancey not on Danny's terms and not in another bar fight. I hate to be yeah. like that, but and Matt Lancey, it, oh my God, the interview the other night with David Powers on the Wildcat. WUPL My 54 show. You could tell Lancey is hungry. I would hate to be Danny Flamingo at the Sugar Mill. Let's see. Uh, In between these two, yes, I think that uh, Lancey has the upper hand. Although, I love me some Danny Flamingo. Um... Yeah, I think that Lancey's got this one. I think this is going to be the hardest-hitting match 
Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's going to be absolutely. brutal. Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be times it's going to be uncomfortable to watch. But I think somehow Danny Flamingo finds a way to win this match. Ooh. If there's anybody who could find a way to beat Matt Lancey, it's it's Flamingo. Yeah. But I, I don't see it. I mean, he, he won that last one in a close match in the bar fight. But if I remember right, the minute after he won and rose his hand, he got s his speared. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I mean, I may remember wrong, but... No, I'm pretty <clears throat> sure that you're about right. I may be getting myself in trouble here, but I don't know. So mm. we've got two for Lancey, one for uh, for Danny Boy. <laughs> so this next one here, this one is really probably the highlight match of the entire WrestleCon event. Mm -hmm. You've got... Uh, Bob Holly. You have Jay Spade, who is the current Wildcat champion. You've got Billy Gunn. And you've got Stevie Richards. Stevie, we've seen him uh, versus Jay Spade mm -hmm. uh, numerous times over the past, what, six months or so? Right. Um, you know, they put on a, an incredible match um, every single time. Let's see, Bob Holly. I mean, he's no slouch. Every time that I've seen him wrestle, he's still got it. Um, Billy Gunn, I sadly missed uh, the Wildcat event where he was at. Oh, that was fun. Everybody was waiting for that chance to yell, suck it. That was oh, so yeah. great. And to see him on the commercials uh, for the upcoming show and see him in that last interview with the David powers interview uh, oh man it it's just making me excited that he's a part of the whole thing yeah um billy gunn yeah i uh i was really upset that i missed his last event or the event where he was um he's yeah I, i've seen that he's been uh really good on uh mike still uh i mean this match is anyone's match I think that Jay no. Spade is going to retain. Well, yeah. But I think that that's also going to be a, either uh, the overrunner for best show or best match mm -hmm. or right behind that Lancey Flamingo match. I, I, I want you to go ahead and say what you, you have to say because cause, cause part of this – Part of this match really pisses me off. So, okay, please. Okay, I, I don't, I'll make it I short wanna, and I sweet. I think you. Jay Spade retains, but I was just gonna say, out of these guys that are in it, Bob Holly, Billy Gunn, Stevie Richards, all of them are still in amazing shape. Yeah. I mean, Bob Holly, he looks great. Billy Gunn, he's still ripped. Stevie Richards, I mean, we see this guy for every Wildcat show, always in amazing shape. So I think. It's going to be athletic. It's going to be hard hitting with Bob Holly, but uh, overall, Jay Spade he retains. Okay, the floor is yours. Let me just say that Stevie Richards does not deserve this chance. <laughs> does not deserve this oh, dude, opportunity. I, oh, I love Stevie Richards. Right Stevie now. Richards. Uh -oh should still be That's suspended. There has been no apologies that I have seen or heard for his blatant disrespect for the referee, blatant disrespect for David Powers, and just... I think he's in real cahoots with someone in the upper management to even be able to get this opportunity. I think it's garbage that he's in this match. Well, I mean, maybe those apologies and uh, punishments were doled out behind closed doors. But he's got a title match at WrestleCon. But what's he, he going to do? Nothing. He's he, learned nothing from this. And, he, and when he loses 
to the wild card, Jay Spade, because I am going to bet on black, and I'm going to say Jay Spade's going to win this, and I'm sure Stevie's going to have a nice little tantrum afterwards, and when they go to interview and be like, oh, Stevie, what happened? He's going to, whoever the poor soul is that goes to interview him is going to get their ass beat down. I think that, I mean, he's still, uh, I, I love that heel that he's playing as much as I know I'm supposed to hate the heel. He's he's doing it right. But I do think that Jay Spade is going to retain. I still think that. <laughs> so, Steve Anthony versus Mr. 450. Wait, can we do this? Can we do this right? Yes. Steve Anthony <laughs> versus Mr. 450. I still don't like his uh his gimmick. Oh man, I, you took the what? words out of my mouth. I'm going Mr. 450. What? I don't get the but. gladiator thing. I think it's ingenious. I think it's so ahead of its time <laughs> and so before its time that y'all just don't know how to appreciate it. I think it's a waste of time. And I feel, <laughs> like, a waste of time. I feel like every time when he's in the ring and he's like, ah, and the crowd is indifferent, no one really knows how to react besides yourself. <laughs> and... <laughs> And I just feel that this is Mr. 450's night. Mm. Mm. Boy. I think that Steve Anthony's going to win it, but, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I haven't grasped <laughs> on to uh, loving that, uh, that character right now. I don't know why. But I do like saying Steve and Anthony! Anthony! Steve Anthony is a very accomplished wrestler. Oh, I know that. He has been from... I, I, I wouldn't even say one side of the globe to the other. He's been around the globe more times than uh, I, I could even count. And I don't know a whole lot, about, whole lot about the man. But obviously something from all his travels has inspired him to become a gladiator a gladiator <laughs> what's more strong than that <coughs> well i think a 450 splash yeah <laughs> <laughs> the night of wrestlecon well we'll see i'm gonna pull for steve anthony on this no nah, i no. think he's gonna pull this one out um let's see we have Savannah Evans versus Rachel Ellering. I'm looking forward to this. I'm glad we're we're, we're getting some female match. So this is a right here. I'm yeah. a, I'm gonna go for Rachel Ellering on this one. Um, I think uh, Savannah Evans on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with well, Pickle. I know that, I, I'm uh, gonna agree with Pickle for this. You know, for I do once know that tonight. Rachel Ellering is uh, Paul Paul Ellering's uh, like daughter or granddaughter, some relation. Yeah, he's she is in the wrestling uh, family, shall we call it? I see. So, I mean, I'm sure that that does come with some sort of uh, legacy, but yeah, Savannah Evans on this one. Yeah, I agree. I, I've heard a whole lot of good things about her, and I think she's she's going to be one to watch out for. I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, Ruby Rays didn't have a match at uh, at this event. It's true. Well, I will say we do get to see her pretty often, at least. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Maybe she's booked on something else during that weekend down here. I mean, I could take Katie Forbes any day of the week, but I don't think we're going to get that, unfortunately. No. Uh, I think, well, she's going to be in town, obviously, um, but I forget who she's uh, going to
going to be at WrestleCon as a guest of. Mm. So she might be specifically on one of the other independent shows. It might have something to do with RVD. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. not me. I wasn't yeah. pointing to me. I was saying no. RVD. <laughs> um, wherever he's going, she may be around. Yeah. Um, let's see. So the next one here on my agenda, we have Ken Dixon, mm. who is the current Wildcat Revolution champion, mm. versus Johnny Flex. So uh, Dixon won uh, the belt, what, maybe about four months ago, something like that? Yeah. Um, from uh, Socorro. And we've seen him uh, with a rematch to Socorro. And there was one other person who I've seen him fight. And uh, I assume that he fought at the January event and then in Georgia. Did I mention but I hate Ken Dixon? Yes, I, I have seen. Uh, I absolutely yeah, you're, hate. You're like Ken in the Dixon. middle of like a Twitter war with fucking Ken Dixon. Well, I mean, he. <laughs> he, he he's he's trash. <laughs> uh, he's just I, I hate him. You know what I mean? I, I I don't think he deserves the title. I think he got lucky. If I remember right, he won that title back or whatever because of a three-way match with... Uh, I, I think he's another one that... Some of these northerners I'm starting to think are in cahoots with, with management. I'll go out and say it. You hear me right now. I think Wildcat management is in cahoots with some of these northerners. Specifically, Stevie Richards and Ken Dixon. So I, I assume that you're going to be going. I'm pointing fingers right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I take it that you're going for Johnny in this match. Oh, absolutely. He needs to take that belt away from him. While I am in full agreement with you, I think that Johnny's going to put up a hell of a fight. But it's going to take a miracle for Johnny to... I think you're full of shit. <laughs> I don't know. The crowd is not going to oh, let oh, Johnny yeah. lose. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. With you on that, 100%. That, yes, every time that I have uh, seen Mr. Flex, uh, probably in the past year, he has gotten standing ovation after standing ovation. And I'd say he is the most over person. He's going to end the right history now. of violence. Ken Dixon's little history of violence. Well, Johnny Flex is going to end it. I got Flex on top. Flex, hopefully Pump Patrol's out there to support him. Yeah. And if they get involved, maybe there's some protein powder thrown in a certain person's face. They get and Johnny Flex gets the win. Yeah, so pickle wrong again. <laughs> I really want him to win, but I think that it's gonna take a lot to to beat Ken Dixon. He is a tough fighter. Um next match we have Soko versus Jeff Cobb versus Jace Valor. From the mobile home mob. And Jace Valor, he was the wrestler that won the Battle Royal. He won the Revolution the, Rumble. The Revolution Correct. Rumble. Yes. Okay, right. Yeah, so... Um, I think... Uh, I'll let y'all go first on this. because I, I think, think I'm going to say Soko, mainly because uh, Soko has... The house of Harper behind him. Right. He's got Harper and he's got Kojak by his side to where if you ain't looking right, 
they will see that weakness and take that attack. Yep, I'm with you, so Pickles. I think Soko wins this one. Soko. I'm going to say Jeff Cobb on this one. Really? Yeah, I, I, I hate to pull against some of my favorites on this show, but, uh, uh, man, if, you, if you've seen Jeff Cobb, that dude is no joke. I mean, I saw the match on TV where he fought Luke at the, I believe it's Bumps and Bruises, where they had in the, the big, with the big beer factory in the back. Man, that guy, take a hit and just turn around, just throwing Luke Hawks around like it was nothing. Wow. Like, that was a vicious match. And I don't know if Socorro can win this match without some kind of divine intervention. The House of Harper. So you're saying Kojak may be that? I think that the mix of Kojak, um, maybe Harper uh, keeping the ref uh, uh, distracted distracted <laughs> while some uh, shenanigans may or may not take place. Mm -hmm. I'm also you know afraid... I mean? Jace Valor may also cost Socorro a win again. Mm. I, I like the mobile home mob, but I like Socorro better. And I feel that Jace Valor has maybe cost Socorro some, some big wins. If I remember my history right, but I mean... I've been known to be wrong once or twice. Jeff Cobb is a beast, though. That's what it boils down to. I see him winning this. Um, I just think that with uh, when you have uh, the House of Harper behind you, miracles can happen. You know oh, I mean? totally agree with you. Miracles can happen. You go to the House and, of Harper, read happen. the Book of Powers. Say a little prayer, or anything could happen. So the last match that I have listed here is the international father-son uh, tag match to where it's uh, Damien Seis-Seis-Seis and uh, Bestia Seis-Seis-Seis versus Luke and PJ Hawks. Mm -hmm. Uh along with uh, versus Ray and uh, Ricky Knight Jr., which is, uh, I'm pretty sure that that boy. one is uh, Paige's parents, or dad and son and brother. Mm -hmm. um, PJ and Luke, well, that's Luke and his son. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I've never seen Damien uh, wrestle live. But I've seen uh, Bestia wrestle live, and they put on a fucking great match. Mm -hmm. With special guest referee Jerry Lynn. Yes. 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 Which, uh, if you know your Wildcat history, Jerry Lynn and Luke fought at, I'm pretty sure it was the first Wildcat event ever. Wow. Um, Jerry Lynn's one of those guys too that I've I've never heard anything bad about him. He's one of the nice guys in the business. Yeah. Um, I think it's good that they have someone like that there for this big event. And I gotta go with Luke and PJ Hawks on this one, boys. Um, pickle. I'm gonna go on Damien and Bestia. Ooh. Okay. Uh. uh, uh. <clears throat> First, I'll give you my pick, and then I'll, I want to make a comment about this because this this is the match I'm most looking forward to, and there's many reasons why. I really think that Luke and PJ are going to win this match because if anybody is ready for whatever, whatever, it's PJ. Luke Hawks has taught his son to be ready for whatever, whatever. And really, against <laughs> against the family to Tijuana, Damien Say Say Says, and his father, Roy Knight, 
his son, the, uh, the hooligans, I mean, they're going to be getting mental. Things are going to go crazy. But, I, I mean, we have a, a, a team from Mexico. We have a team from the States. We have a team from the U.K., a, fan, uh, a father of son teams. I mean, where else do you get that? You know what I mean? Uh, I, I, we talk about, you know, certain wrestlers that are coming up in WWE right now who's, you know, had family who are legends now. But a lot of the time you don't get that father-son match. You definitely don't get three father-sons together for one three-way match, tag team match. Especially of all the different nationalities. There, there's just so much going on here. Really. And uh, I, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, I, I, mean, I could I'd probably say more about it, but I don't want to just ramble. Yeah, I think the Say 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 uh, family is going to win it. You're wrong. You know, uh, You're good at it while, tonight, too. While Luke and PJ are uh, a, uh, a force to be reckoned with, and I haven't really gotten to see – much of uh, Roy and Ricky Jr., but, I mean, what I have seen of Bestia, I think uh, it's going to lead, you know, I think that potentially right now, Bestia is the most experienced son in the bunch. That I would have to say that probably all three of the fathers are on an equal level. Um, so yeah, I mean that. I'm looking forward to seeing that uh, whole event. Oh uh, yeah, I, I'm yeah, definitely got, looking forward got, to it. We've uh, got floor seats. Yeah, uh, we're the last row. I think on the right hand side of the ramp. That we bought the entire row. Awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not the front row, but it doesn't. <laughs> it's pretty much the second best. I, I have a question. So um, I missed the show where Shane Douglas came out. Yeah, that was the one uh, when uh, he came out. Billy Gunn was there. Okay, so he came out. He assaulted Luke Luke Hawks. Right. Has he shown up? After that? Yeah, that I think was... that they fought in uh, Georgia. Oh, okay. They had a match in Georgia? Okay. Yes. Because I didn't know if... Wait, who had a match in Georgia? Shane Douglas and Luke Hawks. Did they? I thought they did. I'm just saying, I'm picking Luke and PJ Hawks here, but for some reason, if Shane Douglas shows up, I don't see it going Luke's, Luke Hawks' way. Well, that's interesting. I, I I don't know. I I forget my timeline, but I thought that was the last sh show. I don't. I don't know. I'm. Well, yeah. The last again. local show right. was when Shane Douglas came out and beat up Luke. Right. And I don't think three weeks later, or four weeks later, something like that was Cornelia, Georgia. I'd have to look back at the results from that uh, that night to see for sure. Oh, I. But I thought that that was that that uh, retaliation mm. match already happened. Oh, uh, I. I don't remember that happening, but there's so much that goes on. I could could have missed it. Yeah, I'd, I'll I'll look back at my. Uh, my notes well i'm just saying i think too this is a great card but i think there's also going to be a lot of surprises yeah, within yeah. the show yes you know what i mean so especially there's a, a handful of people that aren't on the card that could pop in or right yeah luke Cox is friends with a lot going. of big names so i feel like there's going to be like this card looks good now and it's going to be even better live because there's going to be surprises there yeah with the number of people that are going to be in town yeah uh for wrestling week and like you said with luke's contacts mm -hmm. that yes yeah, some shenanigans is 
uh, it's brewing. quite possible to happen. Right. Uh, as well as, you know, just uh, some of the wild card guys themselves mm. that aren't on the roster, you know, we or that aren't on this list. You know, we mentioned uh, Kojak Sly, you know, um, you know, we mentioned Shane Taylor, but what about his buddy? Yeah. You know, where's uh? Yeah. I'm kind of hoping we get some type, t- some type of quick battle royale, but I don't know if there's going to be time for that. There's a, l- a lot of matches in here. Yeah, there is a, l- a ton of matches, but uh, if it starts, you said sharp at six thirty. It says there's six, o'clock, six o'clock, so yeah. doors open for five. Show starts at six. Well, I mean, if they don't do an intermission, to where it's literally just bam, 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 bam. You know, the mm-hmm. minute that that one match is out, is done. Get uh, you know, old Shorty and his uh, posse right. to drag uh, you know, the uh, the fallen out of the way to make way for the next match. Yeah. I hope they give Shorty a raise for this one because I'm sure he's going to be working hard. Him and the whole security team. Yeah. So, um, any closing remarks on anything related to Wrestling Week? Uh, I'm just I'm excited and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it to get here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's. A mere two weeks away, something like that. And I'm glad that um, the even. first thing that we have is Wildcat. I'm glad like we're yeah. starting off with our local show. You know, I think that's going to be cool. When does Access does Access start on Thursday? Does it start? No, Wednesday? I don't think it starts actually until Friday night. Oh, okay. Because if you remember last time, we went like Friday at noon. Yeah, Friday. Yeah, it wasn't open. Like that was just the. Uh, the shop opening for the first time. Yeah. And that's why there was such a damn line for everything at the shop because mm. no one had gotten to go in and buy anything. Um, uh, yeah, I, I can see myself going to several events. So you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter or I guess Facebook or Instagram I'll probably be updating pretty regularly with content for on the now show as well as my personal mm-hmm. uh, pages um, looking forward to it any closing remarks from you <laughs> not really I'm just really excited I'm ready ready for this to start too Um, yeah, um, I'm like I said, I'm ready for it to start. I'm looking forward to um, to Wildcat. I think the Ring of Honor show is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to the something to wrestle. I think that's going to be different. It's going to break up yeah. like that wrestling, you know, just wrestling show, wrestling show, wrestling show. I feel like we're going to get a lot out of that. And I'm I'm even just curious to see like what what wrestlers are here. Like last time, I remember going to Bourbon Street. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's yeah, just one to, of the nights definitely we're gonna have to hit up bourbon. Yeah, just to go check it out. Um, and like I saw Randy Orton was walking down Bourbon Street. Uh, your boy Hornswoggle, I took a picture with him. Noel Foley, like I think that's the fun thing too with WrestleMania being here. Just all the interactions where you're just gonna bump into wrestlers or you're gonna see your friends you hadn't seen in a while. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember you liked wrestling. Cool, man, we're going to the same show. So it's going to bring a lot of those experiences together all bunched in this one week. So I'm excited. Yeah. So, um, well, I want to thank both of y'all for joining me tonight on the show. Definitely. Anytime. Mm-hmm. So, uh, as always, please follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash uh, N-O-W podcast, um, at N-O-W podcast on Twitter, uh, I think NOW podcast on Instagram. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Till the next show. Ring the bell. <laughs>